One police department had to spend quite a bit of money in order to oust one of their own, the police chief, after it was shown that he was displaying Nazi symbols in his office. So this is in Kent, Washington. The city of Kent, Washington had to pay this assistant police chief more than $1.5 million to resign after he displayed a Nazi symbol on his office door and then also joked about the Holocaust. Again, this is an assistant police chief. Now, you might be wondering, well, why do they have to pay him $1.5 million? I'll give you the details. Now, in September of 2020, Derek Kammerzell placed an SS Ober Gooper Fuhrer, a high ranking military insignia used in Adolf Hitler's Third Reich on his office door. The mark allegedly stayed on the door for two whole weeks until it was reported to a superior and finally taken down. Um, Obergupen Fuhrer is uh, the, again, the insignia. And um, that's what it looks like. That's what his office door looked like. So there's imagery to, to prove that he had done this. Uh, but he apparently had a history of doing all sorts of pretty terrible offensive things. Uh, Kammerzell, who is of German heritage, insisted that he didn't even know the symbol was associated with Nazi Germany, only that it appeared on the television show, The Man in the High Castle. Now, an internal department investigation found his claim to be insufficient because the show's premise is about an alternate version of history where Nazi Germany won World War II. I don't watch the show, but I believe that's the entire point of the show. That is the entire point. That of the, the show. Nazis won. So, did you? Th I mean, I, that's like the world's worst excuse I've ever seen. No, no, no. I didn't mean the real Nazis. I meant Nazis on TV that won. <laughs> no, but like to me, this brazen display of Nazism, and and also like the super thin, like flimsy excuse, shows that he really didn't think he'd suffer any consequences at all. And to be sure, he didn't leave. Like he he didn't resign. They had to force him out, but they also had to pay him one point five million dollars. No, no way I would have paid him. But they had to because of the way no, the law works, which is. All right, let, let's do the rest of the story. Okay. So, um, so by the way, other things from his past, I, I just want to make sure you guys know all the facts. So in 2019, for instance, he was photographed doing a Nazi salute during an Oktoberfest uh, celebration. And another time, uh, sporting a Hitler mustache while participating in Movember. Well, he just saw it on TV. Just saw all of it on TV. Yeah, yeah. Just so he had no and idea. And the history books. Oh, that's no what idea. Hitler looked like. I'll do the same mustache. I saw it in a book. Yeah, insane. Okay, so why did they have to pay him one point five million dollars? Well, the city of Kent said that under federal and state law, it had been unable to terminate him after his suspension because of double jeopardy principles, a clause in the Fifth Amendment that prohibits prosecuting people twice for substantially the same crime. Had he been terminated initially, the city added, it was confident that he would have been returned to work by an independent arbitrator. So they were worried that, yeah, so they, they should have just fired him from the no, beginning. All of yeah. this is total nonsense. Yeah. The Fifth Amendment applies to Crimes that you've been charged with. This is about work. Yeah, it's apples and oranges. This is total horse crap. So they say, oh well, you know, he was asking for three point one million. No, he could ask for anything he likes. Do you know how many garbage lawsuits there are in the world? So let him sue you. Go to court. I know it's going to cost you a lot. I know it's it's it's. He's basically the Nazis basically saying, I'm going to hold the whole account the department hostage, and I'm going to hold the taxpayers hostage for my Nazi purposes. Uh, okay, well then spend more. Go to. I don't care if you have to spend more to go fight him in court, and you lose. I'm I'm okay with that. But I'm not okay with giving one and a half million to the Nazis, saying, well, I mean, it was a little inconvenient to uh, to go to court. No, fight the goddamn Nazi. It seems like they were terrified of the police union. Um, a police union. Bingo. A police union attorney was representing him uh, in this the case. Now, a 1.52 million dollar settlement was reached between the city and Camerzel's legal team last week after four months of negotiations. Camerzel originally asked for 3.1 million, according to the city. Yeah. So no. their argument is it could have been worse. It could have been worse, so we really we got no, we got a good deal here, no. one point five million dollars. No, they to wanted get rid to pay him. him. They yeah. wanted to pay him. They they don't mind that he's a Nazi. I don't believe him. I don't believe him at all. 
You know how you fight them? You fight them. You know what I don't do? I don't negotiate with Nazis. Yeah. Oh well, we spent four months negotiating with the Nazi, and boy, the Nazi was a tough negotiator. The Nazi wanted more money. Um, oh, he coincidentally happened to have a Hitler mustache. Coincidentally happened to do the Nazi salute. Coincidentally put the Nazi sign on his door. All because he's you know just coincidentally. No, no, the guy's an obvious Nazi. He told you he's a Nazi by putting it on the door of his office. It's not on. It's not unclear. But the police union thinks better a Nazi than. Uh, then not defend them, thin blue line. Thin blue line will defend Nazis all day long. That's, I mean, look, I didn't do it, the police union did it. And by the That's way, the true. settlement is outrageous. They should pull it back, they should fire everyone involved. Oh, but the Dilsu, they're the police union. We were just trying to coddle uh, the Nazis. No, no deal, everyone should be fired. And, oh, it's cancel culture, now they want to cancel Nazis. Because yeah, I do want to cancel Nazis, I do. The residents of the city just had $1.5 million in their taxpayer money spent on a on a Nazi, literal Nazi. Yeah. Like imagine how infuriating that is, especially considering how much Americans are struggling right now to know that you're you were taxed and that money went toward a Nazi. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna say one last thing. Look, the Nazis didn't just kill Jews, they killed Poles, they killed Roma, they killed gay folks, they killed so many people, innocent civilians. But the gas chambers where they killed six million Jews, okay, not all of them were in gas chambers, but a ton of them were. I, you should read up on what happens in gas chambers. These concrete walls, but there's still nail marks in the concrete as the, the moms, the dads, the kids, the grandparents were clawing at the walls as they were dying. This son of a bitch is a Nazi and they paid him one and a half million dollars. No, I don't give a goddamn about your so-called rights as a cop to be a goddamn Nazi. No, I don't want those people as cops and I wanna fight them all the way and go to the courts and ask the jury, do you wanna give the Nazi a one and a half million? Do you wanna give it to them and tell them the history of Nazis? You wouldn't have to pay a goddamn thing, you wanted to pay him. Because you think him being a cop is more important than him being a Nazi. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.